Let's go, Tyson. Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. But yo, today's gonna be a really, really good day today. We have deadlifts, really, really heavy volume. We have the higher end of the spectrum in terms of volume, sets of four today, uh, which is honestly not that much. But yo, that's as high as I go, I go sets of four. So but yeah, man, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. Made my bed, which is literally the first thing I do pretty much every morning to start off really, really well throughout the day. Also boys, if you guys are new to this channel, which I don't know why you would be, you guys should be already subscribed. But if you guys are somehow new to the channel, please make sure to press that subscribe button and press that post notification button while you're at it so you do not miss another one of my youtube videos just literally press that subscribe button so you do not miss another one of them i'd really really appreciate it love you guys or i need some help with the algorithm you know what i'm saying so help me out press that like button and yeah let's get into this video we got some food cooking downstairs so i'm going to show you guys that here in just a minute and then after that we're going to wrap it up go to the gym get ready you know what i'm saying if you guys read this title of the video you guys know what this video is going to be about i'm probably going to be talking about that at the end of my deadlift workout but yeah you guys already know you guys are going to learn a lot from this video i hope i'm not a deadlift expert but i know a lot so hope you guys guys learn something from this video yeah let's get downstairs and show you guys my food <sighs> bro i legit dead ass fell down the stairs as i was coming down yo my microwave just beeped so the food is ready i'm gonna show you guys that here in a minute it's literally just beef and rice and then i think uh some broccoli as well so so we got a whole ass mother flipping pack of bison cooking right here and then we have a full hold up let me move this we got a full thing of rice right here as you guys can see it's fogging up the land shit my bad p let me fix that for you that definitely wasn't p that's for sure also have some broccoli florets which i've been trying to get a lot more veggies into my meals so this is what i'm going to be putting in also boys real quick speaking of the title of this video it is 100 true i literally added 40 to 50 pounds on my deadlift in literally just a month and like i said after my deadlift workout tonight i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can add 50 pounds on your deadlift as well it's very 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 simple it was something that i changed that was very simple it was not hard at all but it literally made a huge difference yeah boys i just want to tell you guys right now because it's really really simple and it's not that big of a deal so just stick to the very end of the video boys it really really means a lot to me and it ups my watch time you know what i'm saying so i really really appreciate it i'm gonna show you guys my food right now yo if this shit would not be called a bodybuilding meal i have no idea what would all right king so as you can see this is a very very simple meal it is not much at all to be honest with you so this is going to be my second meal of the day i've had one already uh about an hour ago i've been trying to eat very very consistently just to get this weight up uh for the deadlifts it's working really really well it's just so so annoying bro i'm literally so tired of eating but i can't wait to cut um that's gonna be in a new series it's gonna be so amazing be losing weight getting absolutely shredded for you boys and yeah it's gonna be sick so i'm gonna eat this real quick boys and then i will see you guys at the gym here in a little bit peace one thing that i forgot to mention before i left for the gym i'm going to be taking gorilla mode uh black cherry two scoops of this actually which i have done only like twice before in my entire life we're getting a little risky today we got to pull super heavy so and then we're also going to go with the og glycerol this is the mango peach flavor absolutely busting shit is mad good if you know what i'm saying yeah we're gonna have this and then we're gonna go to the gym i'm gonna show you guys uh it all mixed up and then i'm gonna drink it for you guys do a little slurp slurp action and then yeah all right boys so a little taste test going down mm, absolutely amazing as always you guys can use kotai in your checkout i know you guys wanted me to say that okay gotta get a little quick plug in there but yeah i'm gonna see you guys at the gym here in a little bit um and yeah peace out all right boys so we're here at the nixa gym and i love this gym so much for deadlifts honestly because it's just like my sanctuary for lifting and it's like i have this whole whole area cleared off uh but later after deadlifts we're going to be talking about what i did to increase my deadlift literally 40 to 50 pounds and it was literally just my positioning of like how i stood up to the bar so i will be explaining that at the end of like the deadlift edit or whatever um but yeah so let's get into these deadlifts we have higher volume today and it's like like i said just sets of four that's as high as i go so it's gonna be a higher volume day uh but yeah let's get into it
Yo, so real quick, I wanted to say within the next six months, which is really, really exciting, Hard Body is making a brand new belt. It's gonna be called the Hard Body Belt. And it's literally, uh, if you guys have ever seen like an SBD belt, they have like this really, really expensive lever on it. It's like a $350 belt, right? This is gonna be extremely affordable, around $175 uh, to $200. And it's literally way better. It's got the Hard Body logo on everything. It's a different belt, belt buckle design. And uh, it's just gonna be really, really sick. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, let's get these sets in. Real quick, boys, if you don't know what Hard Body is, I highly recommend you check out their equipment. I use these products in all of my videos for both strength purposes and bodybuilding, literally the highest quality lifting gear around. So use the link in my description and code TY for 10% off your entire order. Now let's get back to the video. So I wanted to save this for like the end of the video and I'm still gonna talk about it a lot. Uh, but what I've been doing was literally putting my shins just legit closer to the bar. And that way the bar path is just straight up and down. It's not no curving action to where there's more energy that you have to produce to get the bar up. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing and that's why it looks so much faster now is because I'm literally putting my shins as close to the bar as I can and it ends up working really well. So I'm gonna show you guys that in action and I'll show you guys the like the dynamics of it uh, at the end of these deadlifts. So. All right, boys, so in the end, I think I'll get stronger um, if I just humble myself and like put the weight down to maybe like 765 and work with that for four sets of four. Um, we'll see how many I can get. Um, I might not even get it for the first set. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I'll just bring it down to 765 and do it for my first set of four. We'll see how that goes. So here's the thing boys, I've never done that much weight for that many like repetitions before so I'm probably only going to stick with one set. I'm going to bring it down and just control it really well because that's what I'm good at. Just controlling, still heavy weight obviously but that was really really heavy. My face was red, everything like that but uh, yeah we're going to drop it down a little bit and uh, we'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, boys, so we were done with our sets of deadlifts. Now we're gonna get into the title of the video, 
which is literally how to add 40 to 50 pounds on your deadlift. So what I've been doing recently is it's very, very simple. I've been watching Jamal Browner. And if you do not know who he is, I'll put up a clip right here. He's a really, really, really good sumo deadlifter. And I learned a lot from him. It's very, very simple. I'm going to show you guys. As you can see, we have a bar here. We stripped all the plates, but 145 on each side just so I can demonstrate. So like I said, all I've been doing recently is doing this. It's very, very, very simple. Okay. So when most people deadlift, right? They go up, the knurling is usually mid-foot um, on both sides, right, when they sumo deadlift. Um, and as you can see, there's about two to three inches of space right here between my shins and the knurling of the bar. Now, all I've been doing recently that Jamal has been doing in his videos is literally simply put, putting your shins closer to the barbell. And what I've been doing is the same positioning, but just moving it up about like until there's a, at least an inch between the bar and your shin. And then what you wanna do is to notice how far it is, you wanna stand straight up. You don't wanna be like this because your like vision from here to here, it looks smaller. So you wanna make sure you're standing up and looking straight down to see how close it is. But you literally want your shin about half an inch to an inch as close to the bar as you can. And wh what this does is when you're pulling, the bar path goes straight up and down, which does not take as much force as if you were farther back and had to pull up and then you have to hitch it and pull it back farther. So the bar path, if your shins are farther, will be like this, right? It's gonna be a little bit curved. If your shins are closer to the bar, the bar path, I'll show you guys right now, right? The bar path is legit straight up and down. As you can see, the bar did not curve at all. It literally went straight up and down. So it's very, very simple, boys, like I said. Um, all you have to do is move your shins a couple inches closer than what they are right now. And I promise you, you'll be able to pull more. You'll be able to use less power for your sets. And uh, you won't have like hitching or any of the things where uh, the bar is caught at your knees and you kind of have to hitch it up. That won't be a problem. So try it. Uh, if you guys see any progress, uh, let me know. Tag me in your stories or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's literally it. It's very, very simple. Um, and I've added probably, I went from 855 to pulling 900 on a block pull uh, just by doing this, putting my shins closer to the bar. And again, thank you so much, Jamal Browner. You're the one that like helped me uh, figure this out. And it really, really does work. The bar path is just straight up and down. And it's very, very simple. But again, it, it's very effective. So, all right, boys. So that's going to do it for today's YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there was a lot of information I gave at the very end. I hope you guys learned something. Like I said, it's very, very simple, but let me know if you guys gained any deadlift progress. I really, really appreciate all of you guys watching to the very end of the video. It means a lot to me. But yeah, boys, I just did super, super heavy accessories. I think I just did like 10 plates for sets of eight. My legs are absolutely throbbing and my knees actually hurt really bad too. But yo, like I said, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and press that post notification button so you do not miss another one of my videos. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.